hi everyone um, today I'm going to teach you how you can install IIS server in your Windows 10 computer so before you install you can just cross check whether you already have uh, your IIS server uh, what you can do is uh, you can go to this uh, your web browser and type localhost right and just hit enter if you if you already have the IIS, IIS server up and running uh, this will load a page but here we can see they are saying it is unable to connect right or else you can just type in your windows search IIS and uh, if there is IIS server it will open up the IIS server icon right so now how we can install this IIS server to your computer so that method is very simple what you have to do is you just go here and type run and uh, run this command ok this will open up the uh, programs and features window or else you can uh, go to control panel and open it up also you just uh, type this and hit enter and in here you can see we have directly come to this uninstall or change program so it is available in under uh, control panel right so in this uh, window you have to click on this turn windows features on no off so you just click here and in here you can see this is our internet information services icon so just go ahead and uh, expand it and uh, select the things that you want to install so for this server uh, uh, I want to install the uh, FTP server as well so I'm uh, putting a tick to this one and I will put a tick to this one also and also uh, you can tick uh, this management tools so it will uh, it will default select the uh, appropriate uh, option available under this one so if you want more options you can expand these sections and you can install these features so in order to uh, start working with IIS uh, these options are uh, pretty much adequate okay and uh, yeah if you want you can select this one but I'm not gonna uh, select this one at this moment uh, I will select this option management service and also I will select uh, this option so you can see in here I will select dot net uh, extensibility 3.5 4.8 and ASP and all this and web software protocol so I'm going to install all those all these things so if you are a developer you will know what are the things that really required for your IIS server so if you have that knowledge you can uh, select and deselect anything you want so for my purpose I want these uh, .NET extensibility 3.5, 4.8 those kind of things so that's why I have checked those things and here we can see the default these are selected yeah, HTTP login or DBC or DBC. Yeah, I think this one is also good. Request monitor and tracing. Yeah, all these things are necessary for me. And static number. Yeah, this one is okay. And security wise. Yes these are the things I really want and after that what you need to do is you just click OK
and it will take few minutes to install this not too too long like one minute okay now the uh, things we have selected has already installed to this computer so let's check uh, whether this uh, local host is working now there you go now the local host is working right so that's how you do it now the IIS is up and running right so if you go here and type IIS you can see Internet Information Services Manager is here in here you can go to sites and you can create whatever you want you can add a FTP site to add a website and so many options available after you complete uh, this part so if you want uh, more tutorials regarding how you can de deploy uh, application to this IIS server I mean a web application or if you want a video regarding how you can uh, configure the FT configure a FTP server in this IIS server uh, just put a comment below and uh, then I will decide uh, whether I will do a video or not based on the comments and also if you have any uh, questions or suggestions please do comment below and uh, most importantly don't forget to subscribe my channel uh, please help me you can help me by subscribing my channel and please do like my video if you learned anything from this video so that's all about it thanks for watching have a nice day